Hello, my name is Mandy Buck and I will be showing you how to create a waste audit tool using Google Sheets, like the one on your screen right now. This tool will give you instant statistical data with charts and percentages, as you can see here with the percentage of contamination and a pie chart that shows you the amount of material found in a certain waste stream. It is pretty easy to create with just a few simple formulas embedded into the Google Sheet. And with this, it can give you real-time data. Like if I change this number right here, it will change the percentage of contamination and it will go ahead and change the pie chart as well. So now we will create our own. So once you have it open, you will go ahead and merge these so that we can create a title here. I'm gonna center it and call it waste audit data. All right. So with the waste audit, to get an accurate representation of where the contamination is coming from, you normally split up a building into different areas. For instance, separating the waste from the break room, offices, and bathrooms into different piles. Now, in each of these parts of the buildings, there are different waste streams as well, like recycling, trash, and or organics. So you also be separating these sections into subsections, like break room, trash, and break room, recycling. Now on a waste audit, let's say you take the break room trash and you empty it onto the tarp. Now to get the contamin contamination levels, you want to separate all the materials that are recyclable, trash, and compostable from each other. So this would be a compost pile, a trash pile, and a recycling pile. So we will create those different categories under the trash. So here, trash, recycling, and organics. And we will go ahead and put these on this side so that it looks like it is a subsection. So there are two different steps to get the percentage of contamination, and they have to do with creating formulas. Now, you always create a formula with an equal sign at the beginning. So for here, we want the whole total of the trash. So we will have to add up the different amounts of trash, recycling, and organics that we weighed in the different piles. So we would have weighed this pile, this pile, and this pile all separately. So we don't have numbers in it yet, but to create the formula, you put an equal sign, then you click on the cell, and you do an addition sign, and then you click on this cell, another adding sign, and then this cell, and then you just press enter. So right now, obviously it's zero. But let's say we put in numbers here, three, four, and two. There we go. We're also gonna wanna put these on the other side too, just to make it look uniform. So now we have the total. So that is the pounds of waste total. Now we want the percentage of contamination. To do this, we're gonna merge these three cells because there's only one percentage of contamination in the break room trash. So we will do that and we're gonna center it. So now we need a formula. So it's an equal sign. And then since the recycling and organics are not technically supposed to be in here, that is what's causing the contamination. So, you will click B5 plus B6, and you will put parentheses behind it, because you want to add those separately, and then divide it by the total. And then, since it's a percentage, you will multiply it by 100. And there you go. You have the percentage now. And now you can do this with any of the other sections as well. So recycling, organics, trash, and again, we put it on this side. Okay, and then you put in the numbers, and then you do it with office, trash as well, and you just keep going until you get all of the sections and the subsections. So now we're gonna create a pie chart like you saw back in this one. We're gonna create this so that there's a visual representation as well. 
So you're going to highlight the trash, recycling, and organic subsections because you do not need the total because the, this is what adds to the total. So you highlight these and you do insert chart. Now, in this case, it already gave me the pie chart, but sometimes you might have to go find it. So you'll have to scroll and find the pie chart. We are first going to title it, and it's going to be Break Room Trash Contamination. You always want to title it the second you create it so that it doesn't get confused with other ones. Now, I also like to color code it because it just looks more uniform. So organics is always green, recycling is always blue. Oop, that's trash actually. The trash is always gray and the recycling is always blue. Now you can see the different percentages that are contributing to the contamination. So for organics, there's 22%. For recycling, there's 44%. And there was only 33% of actual trash. So by doing all these steps, you will be able to get this pie chart and the percent of contamination for each different section that you complete the waste audit with. Thank you, and I hope this helps.